All right, we're back today with the third video, second week of running in the Hookah Bunda 5. And I have one fear with this shoe. Find out what that is next. Let's get to it. You heard me say that I had only one fear with this shoe. That fear is I'm afraid they will eventually stop making it. This shoe, for me, is incredible. When I run in this shoe, I cannot even feel my plantar fasciitis. It is still sore in the mornings. I get up, I stretch it right away out of bed so I can walk around. And as it limbers up, it gets really good. But in the afternoon, when I run these shoes, I, I can't even tell I have a heel. It, don't, it doesn't hurt at all. I just got back from a three mile morning run it is August the 5th. It felt like a fall day. It was cool. Just a wonderful morning to get out running. And I ran in these shoes and just was impressed once again by how much I love them. The uh, one thing that I've noticed difference between these shoes and the Brooks Adrenaline GTS series is this one I strike more with my heel. This one causes me to strike more midfoot, and I found out why. This one has, I believe it's only a four millimeter heel drop. This one has a 12.9 millimeter heel drop, which means this part of the sole is down towards the ground, 12.9 millimeters closer than the front is, which means when you're running, it gets to the ground that much earlier than the toe box does. Where this one only has a four millimeter heel drop and when I, it's like there's nothing there for that first eight millimeters that I'm used to being there with this shoe. And by the time my foot gets on the ground, I'm striking midfoot. Uh, so it has helped my form considerably. The thing that I have noticed that that causes, and I didn't mention it in the first two videos, but it, I did notice it when I was running, is it causes my thighs to burn more. And it's because it's like I'm running on my toes a little bit more, which is one of the reasons it feels like I'm not landing on my heel and it's not hurting my heel. Where this shoe right here will absolutely abuse my heel. I'm striking well past a heel strike. Therefore, I'm able to run further with no pain. But running on your forefoot more will cause you to use more of your thigh muscles. And this is the end of my second week of running with these shoes. The thigh burn is almost entirely gone. I still have it some if I'm really trying to get my time down on a mile. But other than that, uh, I run I run three miles this morning, no thighs burning at all. It was just a change in my stride that caused me to use different muscles, which are more, the, the thighs are supposed to be your shock absorbers when you're running. So this shoe right here is a thumbs up. It helps me to run with a more correct form. It helps me to run without pain. Everything about it I love. I will not ever run in this shoe again. I will use it just for wearing to town and walking around. As long as they make them and as long as it, I don't develop any injuries because of this shoe, I will run in this shoe exclusively from now on. That's how much I like it. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, next week I'll have another video uploaded on Saturday and I'm going to discuss the wear pattern on the bottom. This shoe has got over 40 miles on it now. It is wearing very good. I had read some reviews earlier where people were saying some of these pads would come unglued. I have not had that problem and I have drugged my feet more than once when I'm running. And I will show you my roads next week, how terrible they are. Uh, and so for no more wire than these shoes are showing on my roads, that is very good. So stay tuned, come back and check me out next week and uh, I'll have another video. There's only two videos left. I'm going to do four weeks of running videos. The first video that I had up was more of an introduction to what I was going to be doing. So 
stay tuned and I'll get back with you. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, share. Any of that stuff you can do will help me out greatly. Thank you for watching.